Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can use Google Sheets as your data source for Power BI. So we're going to essentially connect this data source from Google Sheets and use it for our report in Power BI. So I already have the Google Sheets opened here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the URL of that Google Sheets file. And take note how I avoided the last portion of the URL that says slash edit, pound sign, GID, something, something. I will just copy this portion of the Google Sheets file. And then I'm now going to Power BI. And under Power BI, I have to go to Home. And then under Home, I will go to Get Data. And I have to explore the other data sources aside from those that are presented over here. So I have to click more. Now under more, we will see the different um, data sources that Power BI can connect to. We just have to simplify this by searching for Google so that it will filter out only the Google products or services that we can connect to. So obviously, what we need is Google Sheets, and then we click Connect. We're now getting a warning that we're connecting to a third-party service, of course, because this is Microsoft Power BI connecting to Google Sheets. So we're getting a warning. We just have to click Continue in this pop-up. And the next step is we have to get the URL pasted here the one that we copied from the browser, and then click OK. We're getting a warning that we're not signed in. So we just have to click Sign In. And if you have multiple Google accounts okay, connected in your browser or in your computer, you have to make sure to select the one that has access to the file. So in this case, it's going to be this one. In my case, and then of course, we need to grant permission to the uh, Power BI to have access to our Google Sheets file. So from here, we have to click continue. And then we're now getting a message that the sign-in is complete and that we can now return to the application and that we can just close this window. And of course, we can do that. So we're going to close this tab and go back to our Power BI. Now you will notice that the message now says we are currently signed in. So we're now good to go. So we can click connect. And Power BI is now doing its thing. So we now have access to the different files that we have or different worksheets in the file. You have to take note that Power BI showed here five worksheets, whereas in our file, we actually only have two. And the reason is that Power BI can also see anything that is hidden in our Google Sheets. So hidden or visible, Power BI will have access to that. So no problem. I'll just have to select the first one. But there's a problem you will notice. We're in the first row is not being treated as the column title. So Power BI is giving us column one, column two, column three as the title. So we can fix this by going to transform. The transform data button will send us to Power Query. Now Power Query can fix this for us. So in this case, we have to promote this row here as the header instead of this generic titles that Power BI supplied for us. So in that case, we have to go to Home of Power Query. And then with that, under Home, you should see a button here that says, use the first row as headers. So we have to click that. And that procedure will promote the first row as the title of our columns. One thing that you may also want to check is if Power Query correctly identified the column 
Okay, the data type. So here I have the branch being detected as text data type, item as text, tails as number, tail date as date. In the event that Power Query detected the wrong data type, you simply have to click the icon of the data type here and choose the correct one. So luckily I got it, um, Power BI got it all correct. And I think Power BI also imported this extra column over here. So I'll have to delete that. So click that uh, column and then under home, there should be a remove columns button because we don't need that uh, column. So this one here. And now that our data is cleaned up, we then go to home and close and apply. This will now send the data uh, to Power BI. So my data is now being loaded and it is already loaded. I just have to go to table view. Now you will notice, however, that there are, there seems to be no data. Now, one thing that you have to observe is that if I scroll down, it's showing me that I have 997 rows, as you can see in the right side, the scroll bar there. Whereas in my uh, Google Sheets, I don't really have that much data. I only have 52 rows, supposedly. So what's happening here is that Power BI is detecting the extra rows in my Google Sheets and also reporting it or sending it to Power BI. That is why if you actually scroll all the way down, you will see that you have your data over here. So in this case, I have to edit the query. I have to send this back to Power Query. So what I did just to show it again is I right click on the table and then went to edit query. And then from here, you will see that in the query level, there are nulls showing up in my data. So I have to remove them in my report before I send them to Power BI. So to do that, I have to go to home. And then under home, we have to go to remove rows. Now there's an option here we're in, we can remove blank rows. So we have to do that, so remove blank rows. And now it will eradicate those null rows in my report. So from here, I can go to home and then close and apply. So my Power BI is again loading the new query and I could now see that I have my data over here, which I can then use for my report. Of course, creating the report is going to be in another video, but I hope I managed to demonstrate to you my objective for this video, and that is how to connect your Google Sheets data to Power BI. And I also hope you realized how to troubleshoot the problems that you will encounter when you are connecting your Google Sheets to Power BI. And that is number one, sometimes the row is not being detected as the title. And sometimes you will have the null cells being migrated as well to Power BI. So I hope that helped you in some way. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I will try my best to answer you as soon as I can. And if ever this helped you, it's, uh, I would appreciate a like and maybe a subscribe in the uh, uh, web page, in our YouTube page. And with this, I'll see you in the next video.